Hello everybody, this is Val and this is how you do it. We are making spaghetti. We're gonna bat, we're gonna uh, brown our ground beef and our vegetables which is uh, bell peppers and onions and we salt and um, put oil and salt in the water already for our spaghetti. And when I come back, the veggies will be put, will put into here, sauteed with the meat. And the veggies I'm going to use, like I say, is nothing but uh, bell peppers and onions. I'm going to use this blend out here that I, I get from Walmart. Plus, I'm going to put some fresh vegetables in it also, uh, onion and a bell pepper. So, when I, like I said, when I come back, that'll be done. The uh, bell peppers and onions that was in that blend that I had. I'm kind of upset because I just I just came from Walmart and bought everything I needed to buy to make this spaghetti. And the daggone woman kept my dog on bell pepper. I ain't buy but one. And evidently she put it on a bag by itself and then didn't turn it in. This is the seasoning that I'm going to put in it. I always put these two seasonings in my spaghetti sauce. Cause this gives it heat, and plus this gives it that spaghetti flavor. Even though I use the canned um, tomato paste, I'm gonna use this this canned tomato paste anyway. Even though I use this, I use those three seasonings and one fourth cup uh, scoop of sugar. The sugar combats the heat, but still gives it great flavor. And I just wanted to share that little bit with you before I go on to let you know those are, are the seasonings that you're going to need for spaghetti. Well, the, um, that's done. Um, before I put the other seasoning in it, I'm going to go over it with this Lowry Caesar salt. Lowry garlic salt. This is the salt that's going into the, this meal. I'm gonna go over here and get some of this uh, garlic that I mixed garlic that I got. Almost didn't see it. That's what took me so long. Oh my goodness, it's too tight, butter. Put a good helping of that in there. It's still cooking. I like my garlic in there. Yeah. Taco seasoning, any brand. Spaghetti seasoning. Can of tomato paste. This is the one with mushrooms. You get any kind of flavor you like. You can get the original. Um, Ones with herbs and spices, either one of them, don't matter. Stir it up in there. That's real thick, as you can see. With the season pack and the spaghetti sauce, you can add water. So it, it it's going to, the water is not going to hurt it. Starting out with a half a cup of water. Plus the water that's going to come off the spaghetti. That's going to simmer and cook. That's me cooking my sauce now. Can't forget that scoop of sugar. I almost did. Yes, that's one fourth cup of sugar. One third cup, sorry, one third. Put it back. That's a done deal right there. I 
have a spoon. Here it is. Let's see what this is doing. Mm, 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 mm. Alrighty then. Just let it cook in there. I think it need a little need a little bit more of this. Yes, it needed that salt. That's what it needed. I'm going to cut this down very low. It's already done got thick. Put a little bit more of this water in it. So I guess you would say that's a pan of water. The reason I did that because I do want it to simmer some and cook a little bit. Before I... Before I Add those spaghettis to it. And that is spaghetti. It's not linguine. That we're having today. It's not quite ready yet. I'm going to cut this off. Next time you see me, we'll be adding the spaghetti. I'm finna add the spaghetti. Uh, this is dedicated to my children on how I make this spaghetti sauce. And why it tastes so good. <laughs> like, you know, spaghetti like my mom's. That's this. That's how I make it. I'm going to let that water that's already in that spaghetti go in there. Because I want the uh, sauce to stick to the spaghetti. That's why I'm using the water that the spaghetti was cooked in. Keep from uh, splashing all over my stove. I'm going to try to fold it in. And y'all, y'all have seen the done deal of the whole thing. The, the main thing is getting that sauce to taste fabulous. Like everybody say, oh, that's some good spaghetti. It's just not ordinary spaghetti. My secret is the taco seasoning sauce and the spaghetti sauce packages mixed together to go with uh, the can of sauce. Any can of sauce you decide to get. And don't forget to put a scoop of sugar in it. And the lallery and the uh, seasoned salt, that's your salt to season your, 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 you still need that also. You need that also. Don't let, don't, don't, don't just think that was by happenstance that I put in there. Put the seasoned salt and the lottery salt in there. That's a must also. I'm going to turn it back, turn it back down because I had turned it back up. And then I'm going to cover this. And y'all. I believe that's all, all you need to make good spaghetti. Um, I don't think I'm going to plate this. I'm going to let y'all see it just like that. And um, next time you see this, I may be eating it on my eating channel. Those that are not subscribed to my eating channel, um, there will be in the bottom of this video in my description box. If you can go over there. Check out my eating channel. Subscribe. I appreciate it very much. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so at this time. This is Val, but this is how you do it. And I talk to all of you beautiful people on my next video. Bye-bye now.